Good day, good day! How the honk are you? Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dano, and we're taking a look at something different today. Yeah, well, not really too awfully different, but uh, welcome! <laughs> Roverland, the channel that's anything and everything Land Rovers, and guess what we've got? Yes siree, I just um, was at the store, and uh, that's the big W, and I found uh, two different ones, one each of these, one at each Walmart, and they're uh, different variations. Um, earlier uh, in the uh, unboxing video, and probably tag that at the end. I had purchased these off eBay because I did not think that in a timely fashion these would be in my uh, possession. So here we are. We're gonna do an unboxing video of these babies. Yeah. Um, so I've got. I you know how I hate to open stuff up that I don't have, and uh, we're gonna talk more about it. So. Let's get at it. Let's open these up and take a look at the new, um, I believe they still consider these um, part of uh, the year 2020, uh, I think. Now, I, I've been watching uh, a couple other channels and uh, Hot Wheels uh, has already put out some... Uh, 2021 cars uh cases there there's uh does not end at the physical year it ends uh early in uh 2020 for the 2021 so here's the card art um also uh warning choking hazard yeah and a very funny video so <laughs> there you go mbx jungle and this is the 95 or 1965 Land Rover Gen 2. All right, here it is. Isn't it glorious? Isn't it grand? Yes, I just love the uh, tan color on these. Just a very, I'm, I'm a big tan, khaki, green, basic colors. Very, very nice. Big, big graphics on the side. I think that is supposed to be snake hide i think <laughs> safari x land rover on the door unit three on the uh what's the abc pillar uh the back one there has got jungle safari x on it very cool very cool whip around to the back no decals on the front or the back because they put it all on the side so the other side is a mirror of that side. Now this has got a black base. And we're going to compare it to the, uh, the uh, first edition. So this is be the second release. This is the uh, same style of wheels, but different wheels. These are tan uh, to kind of uh, 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 emulate uh, muddy, dirty tires. Uh, some people don't like that kind of stuff, but... Hey, this is not too bad. This matches the, the paint is kind of, yeah, it, I like it with a green, look at that green top to it. Very kind of cool. This is the, um, throwback to the original, uh, ones. And now, as you know, this has got a removable part and we're going to talk more about that it's keyed. So you can, uh, put those on different vehicles. Um, so there you go. Awesome, awesome, great, glad this is back. They finally uh, made it, made another one, uh, remodeled, awesome. So the second one that we're gonna take a look at, and um, there is no difference in packaging, but they throw in their version of the removable part. Um, on 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 the uh, same car so let's get that opened up here you know me and i'm being really weird and opening up the package really kind of cool so you can kind of still st store it so what i do what i do is i cut the the bottom here so then you can just kind of open it up like this 
and kind of preserve the packaging because I will store it there afterwards. Ha ha. All right, so same kind of deal here, black base. Um, these are even uh, the same code N36. That's uh, the, the, the week that they per were produced. So these cars were made in the same production line, but have the different top to it. So we can just kind of take that uh, top off, keyed once again, and here is the top to it. Very, very awesome. So yeah, they're um, they're really kind of cool. I really love this. The Matchbox, you ask me, they hit this out of the park. Uh, the playability on this is awesome. The other vehicle that, um, that has this, um, removable part is a station wagon uh i believe it's a chevy station wagon i had a couple of them because i bought them for the other um attachments and i gave them away i i sold them whatever they were blue and a red one but anyway um yeah let's let's first off let's just take a comparison uh to the uh vehicles one to another like i say they're uh very very they're they're the same thing other than now we have a black base tan tires versus the that uh gray off-white base with black tires blue we got with a tan uh the blue one had the detailings in the front this is the first edition and it had some very very nice uh details on the back very very cool way to start out they don't have any interior because they had they went with the removable part so um you know they they couldn't do an interior um mattel a couple years back uh, put everybody on notice in the uh hot wheels and matchbox um uh, camp that they needed to make um vehicles uh toys these uh die cast in what five parts it had to be a base body interior and glass one two three four and then and then the wheels would be five so um that is the guidelines as far as hot wheels and and the mattel matchbox they have to have uh five parts base body interior and glass so what we're doing here is they in, uh, innovatively took the interior count and put it on as a removable part. So there you go. So awesome, awesome, awesome. So anyway, so the first gen was uh, the first gen of the second gen was the the two these two with the brown, and then um, they they never came. They they only came. The Land Rovers only came with with these two options okay that's the only you had to buy other things like the station wagon to get the canoe and um fishing garb and stuff but it fits on to the land rover it's got the same keyed part and so that fits nicely on the land rover so um so they're adding sales to their um you know, bottom line by, you know, uh, selling different models that have different things because like I am, I'm buying them you know, a dollar for this added part and then reselling or giving away the, uh, the, the main casting. So I, I can have a variation. So then this came out. Um, this was the rowboat with, uh, fishing, uh, more garb and gear and uh, oars and uh, so that was the other one well the other vehicle that uh, comes with this attachment is uh, this uh, what is it called the um, uh, trailer tracker something like that and uh, these came by themselves now these came with the uh, with the uh, rowboat like like this i won't have to take that apart this came with the rowboat and uh 
So really kind of cool matchbox. There you go, four by four trailer. Got some bumper sticker stuff there. Let's go four by four in it says there, yeah. So anyway, so you could buy these and uh, take the uh, part off, also keyed, and uh, you can put those parts and pieces on your Land Rover as well as um, the uh, station wagon. Uh, one of the latest ones that they did was this one here, station uh, the trailer, which was really kind of cool, a nice uh, white. It's uh, like a pearl white with brown. This one came with the uh, canoe, or the, uh, not the canoe, the uh, rowboat. And uh, very, very nice. Let's take a look. Very nicely detailed. Camp Arrow Flint. Camp AF. Not not the real AF. <laughs> Campy AF. <laughs> As, oh, man. But, uh, yeah. What does that say? Archery. Cut. Hiking, swimming, something else, something else. I can't quite read that through the camera lens there. But really a nice uh, piece. These are not made as uh, plentiful as um, I would like. Um, they're just as rare as uh, some of the other stuff. Sometimes Matchbox, I don't understand. Uh, this is such a playable uh, thing. Um, the only big thing that I don't like is <laughs> they don't have a trailer hitch on this. <laughs> so I can't put these two things together. Uh, just recently as, uh, in this, I think it was before this case came out, they came out with this one here, which is the National Parks, which is a great um, line of... Uh, um, one of the series that uh, Matchbox did and uh, very collectible. I, I don't per se collect that series, but I really like it and I would if I had tons of money uh, because I'm missing some of the older stuff and they get really expensive back in the day. So there you go. What we gotta do, we gotta quit yapping for a minute and I wanna show you um, some of the cool ones on this tan one here, the newest, latest. Yeah, check that out. That is handsome. I love it. Awesome. Wow, I got to get out of here. It's already, uh, we're 13 minutes into this. I, I want to do this tan one. I got to pick up some more of these trailers. I, I don't mind buying a trailer because I can uh, put those on all my other Land Rovers and stuff like that. There you go. That is a nice one there. All right, I just want to do a recap on the 19... 65 Land Rover Gen 2 from Matchbox. Awesome, cool unboxing for you. Uh, model uh, highlight review. Cool, go out and get them. <laughs> go out and get them, get all you can, all right? All right, this is your friend Dan. I'm gonna wrap it up. Thanks for joining me today. And as always, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.